gang, should we do a comic book haul? Should we do a comic book haul? <laughs> <Boo. laughs> what time is it? We're 14 minutes in. That was my little intro on this deal. Let's do a comic book haul, gang. Okay. So this comic book haul right here, it's not a comic book. It's a trading card haul. Okay. And for some reason, I just went to just pop this open and it actually opened. So I'm pretty sure this when it went through border, it was checked, but they never put tape on it again, which is really wacko. Okay. Ma, thank you for taking your business. Yes, comics indeed. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. So this was open. Okay. And I'm sort of like, hey, wait a second. Okay. I don't like they went through it. Okay. So let me make sure this is what it's supposed to be. Why no? Why? <laughs> <laughs> and, oh we got we got maybe trolls going on check this out now let me tell you how much this thing cost let me tell you how much this thing cost okay let me open up my thing image let me tell you how much this thing cost and you would have seen this before you would have seen this before you would have seen this before. And for those of you that are listening to this live stream on uh, SoundCloud, apologies if you're not going to see what we're doing because this is also going to be broadcast, uploaded as a podcast on SoundCloud. So will the stream later today. Okay. Oh, sweetness, sweetness, sweetness. Let's check this out. Let me tell you how much this baby costs. This thing including shipping cost me a hundred and thirty three dollars us i bought it for 105 and the rest of it was shipping and this time i didn't have to pay duty on this thing this time i didn't have to pay duty on this thing okay ah oh, elder guy you got business taken care of your sword is sharp today so check check this out gang okay check this out check this out 133 dollars now before we do this let me let me show you the other guys that we had right let me show you the other guys that we had now a while ago we did the reading for we bought the drug war trading cards right we did the reading for this whole set right we did the reading for this whole set drug history of the war on drugs right amazing 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 it's on sensor tube on a playlist and it's on rumble Pichute, and odyssey as well right the mod is on it like clockwork awesome awesome elder god take them out take them out take them out now after we got these i'm got a bunch of these we're going to be doing a giveaway for these right during our yearly uh points auction right now then we ended up getting the Iran Contra scandal, which is, we're going to do the reading for this too, right? All the cards. Okay. So we're going to do the full reading for all of these as well. Right. And then we ended up getting coup d'etat, the assassination of John F. K. The assassination of John F. K. Right. And we're going to do a full reading on all of these as well more history i knew my war on drugs history really i've been i've been at this for a long time i've been i've been an anti-prohibitionist for more than a couple of decades now but a couple of decades full on right meta dragons i am on the fourth issue of infinity gauntlet first time read through wow awesome 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 and read the silver surfer meta dragons read the silver surfer uh build up to the infinity gauntlet Okay, read the Silver Surfer build up to Infinity Gauntlet. Regarding war on drugs, I knew my history on the war on drugs, but I didn't know my history on the war on drugs. So if I didn't know my history on the war on drugs, I can bet you, majority of people, if you end up reading this, these tr drug war trading cards by Eclipse Comics that came out in 1991, it will blow your mind. It will blow your mind. Okay, now, the next set of cards we got we didn't get a box we didn't get a box 
right? So I took out the drug war trading cards. These are the ones, right? I took them out of this box and I put the cards that we had uh, in this box, right? Because I want to protect them. And the cards we got were the dirty, rotten scoundrels, right? Dirty, rotten scoundrels. So I put that on there, right? Because we didn't, we didn't get them. We didn't get them, right? We didn't get a box. And it cost us, it cost us $180. How much did it cost us? It cost like a lot of money. It cost, I should have it here. Let me tell you how much it costs. It costs, it cost, it cost $152 US plus I had to pay for duty when it came across the border, $30. So $150, so it costs $180 plus without the box, without the box, without the box. <laughs> we got the box. <laughs> awesome. Check this out. So $130 including shipping, uh, duty taken care of right and we got the rotten to the core oh i should i put dirty rotten scoundrels on there instead of rotten to the core check this out i put dirty rotten scoundrels it's not dirty rotten scoundrels it's rotten to the core trading cars rotten to the core trading cars damn that's sweet buddy thank you very happy to get this initially the guy who had listed this was selling it for 160 us right and it went through a couple of times iterations where he had to relist it and then he finally kicked it down and i didn't have enough funds in my uh in my account to be able to buy it right but when i had enough funds he ended up i checked he ended up having it for a hundred dollars right and then it was you know 30 plus for shipping and whatnot right so rotten to the core trading cars the best and worst of new york city politics right let's look at this and there's two key cards that we really want to make sure we have here right i think lark bark i think the cat either disagrees or agrees. the cat's going crazy that's sal going crazy he's like he wanted up here he was uh, had some snacks here he came in uh he was trying to get to the snacks right so i prevented them so he's like hey i want the food elder god i finally read my comics i won on last night's uh point for ah awesome go go boy the artwork is rough brother but i think it was legit it it was authentic it was sincere and this is a go go boy comic books that i ended up printing from my uh comic book publishing company that i had in 1990s and we published the first lgbtq comic book series okay continuing series superhero comic book continuing series and uh I, I had to print it i had to accept what the guy sent me and put out that series and i'm very proud of it even though the artwork is very rough it is rough but it improved and we were censored by uh by diamond distributors check this out check this out edward kosh so there's got to be and it's got the thingamajiggy in there too the description very nice very nice check this out check this out we're looking for card i forget which card it was card number 26 i believe so these things are amazing <laughs> cats are in full fighting mode the added magazine had my parents were though ah yeah that's right i sent you a magazine because the uh, lgbtq magazine one of the largest magazines uh lgbtq magazines in north america put google boy on the front page they covered google boy comic book series that it was publishing in the 1990s okay they did an interview with the creator that's how important the series was and is right and just consider this the comic book the main comic book publishing company would not carry it right just letting people know right meta dragons i didn't know about your publishing company and the gpd run that's amazing i'm super proud of it at the time i was like what am i doing and the distributor refused the other books um, that i submitted at the same time and there's no way they should have refused. Anyway, we'll get into that story later. Check this out. 
these are the type of cards there are, right? Uh, Donald Mains, right? This is card, and it's got descriptions in the back, right? That's card number twelve, right? Let's keep on going. Find the find the find the gold man. I hope it's in here. It should be. Come on. Oh yes, baby. Nice. And check this out. This one, this card. I'll show you the this is card number number 26. And in the pictures, the corner has a little dent in it. So the other one that I have that's in this one is in better condition. Okay, but check this out. Donald Trump card. Donald Trump card. This is, I believe, his rookie card, right? I think so anyway. On this level. Donald Trump with a plane in New York standing on his towers. Or it might be, no, it's got to be New York, right? And it's card number 26. Okay. Well worth the buy. Well worth the buy. You can see the dent right there, right? Squished the corner. Okay. So I'm not sure how grading works, what grade this would be given, but I'm very glad to have it in this grade. Okay. And the last card, card number 36, is Rudy Giuliani. Rudy Giuliani. These are the two cards that are worth a fair bit. Um, like the Donald Trump card, the Donald Trump card graded at 10 is listed at 10 grand on eBay. I don't know if, like if I, if I was a millionaire, I'd probably buy it, but I'm not a millionaire, right? I can buy the whole deck for a hundred bucks or 130 bucks. I'll, I'll do that, right? Okay, very happy to have this second set of rotten to the core trading cards ba, 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 ba. box included box included it was a great deal it was a great deal okay um it was a great deal i'm gonna put this in here and here's a box again rotten to the core rotten to the core trading cards who are those people on there will it focus Let's see. Who are those people on there? I don't recognize any of these people. Look at the dog spot. New York buzzed. New York or bust. Funny. Cool. Very glad to have that. Okay. Nice collection. Here we go. We got four of them. We got four. We got four out of oof, this guy goes like this. I think they produced eight uh, trading card sets in total, and we got four. Okay, and we got four. Very nice. Very happy for this. 